Which one of these homes should Elmo live in? Should he live in the red one, orange, green, blue, or purple? He should live in the red one, of course, because he's red too. Here's Elmo. Let's bring up his house and let's see what's inside. First, that's the number one. That's pretty easy to count. One dot. Let's see what's inside. Here we go. Hey, I don't think that's just one dinosaur. That's more than one. Let's count them together and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, and five. We have five red dinosaurs. Well, this house only has one on it, so we should only put one dinosaur in. One. And now Elmo can go live there. Let's put him right there. Thanks, Elmo. What about Big Bird? Which home should Big Bird live in? Well, this house is orange, just like his feet. So he should live in this one. Let's bring it forward. Can you help me count the dots and see what number's on this house? <laughs> Thanks. One, two. That's the house number two. And it's orange, just like Big Bird's feet. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, wow, it's more dinosaurs. But these look like way more than two dinosaurs. Why don't you help me count them? They're yellow and orange, just like Big Bird. One, two, let's get all the yellow ones first. Three, four, and five. Five yellow dinosaurs. Now how about the orange ones? One, two, three, four, and five. Wow, five orange and five yellow. Together that makes 10, 10 dinosaurs. Well, we only need two for this house. So why don't we do one yellow dinosaur and one orange dinosaur, that equals two. Now Big Bird can live in his house. Good job, Big Bird. Which house should Oscar the Grouch live in? Do you think the green one, blue, or purple? <laughs> You're right, the green one, because Oscar is green also. Let's count the dots. One, two, three. This house has three dots. Let's open it up. Yep, there's more dinosaurs inside. That looks like a lot more than three. Help me count. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six green dinosaurs. Wow, that's a lot. Well, we only need three to go in the house so that Oscar can live there. So let's count to three for the house. One, two, and three. Now Oscar can go live inside. Okay, there you go, Oscar. We're down to two more houses. I'll bet you know which one Cookie Monster wants to live in. The blue one, right? Because it's blue just like Cookie Monster. Let's count the dots. Let's have Cookie Monster help with this one. One, two, three, four. This house is number four. I wonder how many dinosaurs are inside. Wow, a lot more than four. Okay, help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dinosaurs. But we only need four for this one, so help me count to four. One, two, three, and four. Now Cookie Monster can live in his house, his blue house. And last but not least is Abby. Her hair is purple, so the number five purple house will be hers. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. That's the number five house. Open it up. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's very many dinosaurs. Abby can help us count. Okay, Abby, are you ready? One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, we need one more to get to five. Here comes one more pterodactyl flying in. Now we have five. Help me count them to put them in the house. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Great job, Abby. Now everybody has their home. Let's look at those colors one more time. Purple, blue, green, orange, red. In Spanish, that's rojo, anaranjado, verde, azul, morado. Great job! Let's also count them now together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what that is in Spanish? Let's do it together. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. You're so smart. Elmo wants to go swimming. Which one of these fish bowls should he swim in? Well, of course, he's going to want to swim in the red one. Just like Elmo, he's red. But who's this? It's a new friend, Mr. Crab. If Elmo wants to swim in Mr. Crab's fish bowl, he needs to help him count to four. Those are all the bubbles on his, on his bowl. Here we go. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Good job! Now, Mr. Crab, we'll let Elmo swim in his fish bowl. There he goes. <laughs> He's having fun in the pool. What about Oscar the Grouch? I think he wants to go swimming also. Which one of these fish bowls should he swim in? The green one, right! Let's count the bubbles on the fish bowl for the seahorse, and maybe he'll let, let Oscar swim in his fish bowl. Here we go, let's count. One, Two. Two bubbles. And here goes the seahorse. And here goes Oscar the Grouch swimming. Good job, Oscar. What about Cookie Monster? Which one of these fish bowls should Cookie Monster swim in? Yes, the first one. Uh-oh. Here's Mr. Shark. He's blue, just like Cookie Monster. And here's his bowl. If Cookie Monster wants to swim in the shark's bowl, he has to count the bubbles. Let's help him count. One. <laughs> that was easy. There was only one bubble. Here we go. There goes the shark. One. And here, Cookie Monster can swim. Who's next? How about Abby? Abby has purple hair. Which one of these fish bowls should Abby swim in? Yes, the purple one. That's the octopus. And there's the fish bowl. But to get in the fishbowl, we have to help her count the bubbles. Here we go. One, two, three. Three bubbles. Now the octopus can go swimming, and so can Abby. Good job, Abby. And our last one, of course, is Big Bird. Which one of these should Big Bird swim in? Right here. This is our orange fishbowl. And here's our orange fish number five. To get number five fish back into his bowl, we need to count the bubbles. Help me. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And here goes the fish. And here goes Big Bird. Let's look at the colors again. Say them with me. Blue, green, purple, red, orange. Now let's do it in Spanish. Azul, verde, morado, rojo, anaranjado. Good job. Will you count them with me now? Thanks. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's do it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Great job. The Sesame Street friends say they all want to go swimming together, not in separate fish bowls. So they need to go swimming in this giant bucket of popsicles. Here comes Big Bird jumping in. And now Elmo. And Abby. They're all swimming. And now Oscar the Grouch. And now Cookie Monster. It looks like they're having fun. But what is that on there? It looks like it's letters of the alphabet. Hey, maybe Sesame Street friends can help us put the alphabet together. That's a great idea. Why don't we start with Elmo? Elmo, will you help us find all of the red popsicles? 
Yes? Great! Let's put Elmo right there. And let's find all of the red popsicles. Here's one. That's the letter V. The letter R. The letter A. I think I see one more. The letter H. Okay, let's put those there. Who should we look at next? How about Big Bird? Big Bird is yellow. So let's find all of the yellow popsicles. Wait a minute, I don't see any yellow popsicles. What about orange? Big Bird's feet are orange. Okay, let's look for the orange popsicles. Here's one, that's the letter C. And here's another orange one, the letter F. Uh oh, Oscar's standing on one. Here's another one, the letter S. And here, the letter P. Okay, how about Abby? Let's look at your alphabet popsicles next. Okay, let's look for the purple and pink ones because Abby is purple and pink. Okay, there's the letter D and W. B, J, L. Can you point to one if you see it and I might miss it? Y, O. Do you see any other pink and purple popsicles? Nope, me neither. How about Oscar the Grouch? Hey Oscar, what's your favorite color? Green, right. Okay, Oscar, help me find all of the green popsicles. Here we go, that's the letter K, the letter T, and the letter Q. Did I get them all? Yep. Now it's Cookie Monster's turn. He's blue, so let's look for all of the blue letters. Here we go, the letter I, the letter M, the letter E, and the letter U. Look at all of these letters we have. Now we just have a few letters left over. These are brown. Let's pull them out and let's put our alphabet together. The letter X, the letter Z, the letter N, and the letter G. Wow, this is a lot of letters. Okay, we need to put them all in order now. Okay, which one do we start with? The letter A, right. It's right here. A. Let's move all of these down here and let's line them up. A. Do you see where B is? Hmm. I think I... Oh, right here. B. And here's the letter C. And D. What about E? E is next. Yes, down here it's blue, just like Cookie Monster. E. Now we need the letter F. Hmm. Do you see it? Oh, yes, right here. It's orange. F. And now the letter G. Here it's brown. G. H. I. J. Hmm, what's next? Oh, it's the letter K. It's over here and it's green. K. Let's put it underneath here. L. Hmm. M. Now we need N. And next is O. How about the letter P? It's over here, P. And now we need the letter Q, R, S. We're almost done. T, U, V, W, X, Y, and 
times Z. Our Sesame Street characters help us do the whole alphabet. Let's put Elmo up here. And Big Bird right here. And Abby, how about Abby right there? And Cookie Monster right here, as they helped us with the alphabet. And how about Oscar the Grouch? Just put him over here. Great job, guys. Thanks for your help.